What's up, everybody? Welcome back to Flicking on My Big Tarot, here where I bring you the beauty, juice, and spiritual truths. I am your spirit guide host, Miss DC, and today, you guys, we are back with another general reading for the collective. Please understand this will not apply to every single individual, as every single individual is not going through the same scenario. Cross watchers, anybody who this video is actually for, cross watching for you, you're more than welcome to join in, tune in, but please utilize this information for its most positive purpose spirit told me to talk to you so i will be talking to you guys with my kipper as well as my modern witch tarot deck for more information everything will be in the description box so please be sure to like share and subscribe to this video and if this is so drop a tip in my cash app leave a comment and let me know without further ado collective this reading is for you What's up, y'all? I just want to give a shout out to everybody that leave comments. Um, two people specifically left comments for the last video that I did, and I really appreciated it. Also, my deepest sympathies goes out to, I don't remember the person's name, and I don't really want to say it because I'm not really sure if you want to be known or not, but um, the last video that I did had to deal with somebody's grandmother uh, possibly passing away, but was old and kind of bitter at the same time um, or getting older and slightly bitter at the same time, but worked really, really hard. So my condolences um, when and if it happens, I mean, it will probably based off of what they were saying, but um, I just want to say thank you for reaching out because they told me that it resonated you know, so um, and left the 100 sign. So <laughs> I just want to say um, I really do appreciate when y'all leave the comments and stuff. So, all right, let's see collective. All right, so I see um, a distant horizon. Somebody might be traveling a uh, long distance, but when I see distant horizon, I just kind of feel like um, an alternative uh, transportation so anything other than driving. So I feel like right now, I know a lot of people are like going on cruises. I know a lot of people are flying places and just doing like, I just, I just get like alternative means of transportation other than a car. So somebody might be traveling. I mean, you could be traveling in a car, but I feel like this is either boat or air. Um, so somebody might be going on a cruise very soon, or somebody might be taking a flight somewhere. I know I need to get me a passport because there are a couple little countries I'm trying to hit up and they're really not that expensive. Yeah, so I feel like maybe somebody is either traveling with their child or they're traveling to see their child. Somebody might have to travel a little distance to see their child, possibly a daughter, but it doesn't have to be a daughter. It could also be a son. Um. I just feel like somebody is traveling to see their child. I don't know why I'm getting a bird. Something about a bird. Yeah, I feel like somebody is going to travel to someone's home to see a child. Someone may be traveling to see their daughter or their son. Um but you may have to travel a good ways to see them. Like I said, you may have to travel by like boat or you may have to travel by, excuse me, plane. Um, I just see there's a distance. Somebody may be visiting their child in a home. Maybe their child is in a group home and then you got to travel to go see them. Okay, bottom of the deck, yeah. So I feel like, yeah, I feel like somebody has um, multiple options of travel. I hope not spirit, okay? Because spirit is terrible. I don't like spirit. If you have to take a plane, this one came out. Yeah, I feel like somebody hasn't been able to build or connect with their child. Somebody has multiple ways of traveling to see their child. I feel like... Somebody has multiple ways of going to see their child, but I feel like somebody hasn't seen their child or maybe, um, I feel like somebody hasn't seen their child and maybe they haven't been in the position to be able to see their child, but somebody might be visiting to go see their child. Their child. 
But for whatever reason, I feel like somebody's not manifesting this. I feel like somebody might not really want to see their child because the magician is in reverse. So it's like not manifesting something, not creating something when it comes to a child. I feel like maybe you created a child, but it was just kind of like one of those situations where it's like, I really didn't want my child. And it's and I and I hate to say that, but a lot of people feel that way. Unfortunately, a lot of people feel that way. And what bothers me a lot of the time is that people be out here doing everything it takes to get a child. And then when a child gets here, you act like you don't want it. You act like you don't want to be a part of the child's life. You don't want to raise it. You just kind of abandon a child. Yeah, like somebody that you were in love with. Or this could be like a um, military situation. I feel like this could be a military situation. You're going to go visit your child's mother or your child's father. Somebody is going to go visit their child's mother or their child's father. But I feel like you didn't want to make this child. But it's kind of, I, so this is what this is telling me. A lot of times I tell people all the time, I don't believe a lot of people, and I'm going to say a good 90% of people do not want children they want the relationships the children come from okay so it's like well if i can keep him or if i can keep her by means of a child i really don't want the child but that's the best way to keep them because if they're not going to marry me how else am i going to be able to keep this person and this is one of those situations and i just i don't like that i don't like that if you feel like you have to keep someone via a child then you don't need to be with that motherfucking person or something the fuck is wrong with you y'all just be out here that's what i said y'all just be out here doing shit and don't be thinking about it y'all come out here doing everything it's we don't have an epidemic of broken condoms we don't have an epidemic of of you know what i'm saying we don't have we don't have that type of shit you know, we don't have an epidemic of not getting birth control and shit like that. Like we don't have those type of epidemics because we have enough resources for you to get, you know, um, we get enough, we have enough resources. And my thing is, even in some states, if you got to travel somewhere to get an abortion, this might even be one of these situations. Somebody might have to travel to another state to get an abortion because I don't feel like they want the child. That's what I think this is. Because if this was in the reverse, I, if this was upright, I would feel better because it's like I'm manifesting wanting to see my child. This is manifesting wanting to see my child. This is try I created a child. I wanted to create a child. I'm building. But this is in a motherfucking reverse. So somebody didn't want the child that somebody's going to give birth to. I feel like somebody has to travel to another state to get an abortion. And now that we have this weak ass Roe versus Wade situation going on, where certain places they're banning abortion so you motherfuckers need to be very very careful about the shit that y'all out here doing so somebody has multiple means of trans uh multiple ways of trans transportation but i feel like they're doing it to get an abortion because they might even be doing it to get an abortion but i i feel like with this family room car here you're going to see that child with the lover or if i'm wrong this is a military situation or this is a situation where somebody might be across seas or somewhere and they're going to see their lover to see the child but what's throwing me off is this magician in reverse this is what's throwing me off and it's in the center i feel like somebody is either traveling to get an abortion with their lover so this could be a situation where you and your person really didn't want children together you all didn't want children but somebody got pregnant but i feel like the child is here either the child is in existence whether in the stomach or outside of it but i feel like i feel like somebody is going to see a child that they don't want this is fucking sad bro this is one reason why I can't stand tarot because some of the messages, like you can't make this shit up. Like I don't just sit here and be like, hey, let me just make up the fact that a motherfucker don't want to see their kids. Like, yeah, somebody, I feel like somebody might be stuck. Somebody is stagnant. They can't figure out how to, 
they can't figure out how to, you know, travel to, to see this child or somebody is stuck. Some of the, I feel like they feel like, well, what's going to be the best option? Should I drive? Should I take a bus? Should I take the train? Should I fly? Should I take a boat? I'm I'm curious to see what the fuck is about to come out. Like this shit is so irritating to me right now because I feel like there is an unwanted child here, and you got the and, 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 look, look, y'all, you cannot make this shit up. Look, I swear to God, I swear to God, I swear to God, y'all don't want these motherfucking kids to have a sex. Shit. Somebody paranoid as fuck that somebody is pregnant or somebody is paranoid as fuck that somebody is having a baby. And see, look at this. You bitches is running around here doing all types of shit. Uh, this is a situation where you motherfuckers decided that you all didn't want a child. But I feel like the child is here and somebody is nervous as fuck. Somebody is nervous as fuck because they made the wrong decision. Somebody got somebody, somebody got somebody they was in love with pregnant, but it wasn't the right thing to do. And I feel like they had the baby and now whoever this is don't want the child. I'm going to clarify. Usually I don't. I just let the cars fall where they may, but I'm going to go ahead and clarify because I want to see what the fuck is bro like what bro y'all be irritating the fuck out of me i'm not even about to play with y'all like i'm not i'm not one of those i'm a for real tarot reader so i'm not gonna get on here and just tell y'all all of this happy shit oh you're gonna find love and you're gonna no i'm not doing that i'm not doing that i'm not doing that this is the tough love tarot that's what i should have named my flicking on my big tough love tarot it's a long ass name and i don't give a fuck like you got somebody here Y'all probably didn't have sex in the living room. Somebody had sex in the living room or had sex somewhere with a lover, somebody that they were romantically involved with, knowing that they wasn't supposed to do it. Knowing it was the wrong decision to do. And now this person is scared because they don't want the child. That's what this is. They don't want, they don't, they paranoid as fuck. Somebody is scared to fucking death. They did not want to create this child. They weren't manifesting this child, but the child came. I can't feel it. It don't feel the same. Look at that. Somebody is unfulfilled. They're not happy. Somebody is unfulfilled. They're not happy because they did not want this child. And it's, it's, it's a damn shame because now this child got to grow up, you know, with parents not really liking them. That's some bullshit. And it's happening too motherfucking much. Look, it's like I, I really got I got to put my big girl pants on, make a decision and, 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 and go for it. It's like, I, I really, I, as bad as I don't want to do this, I feel like somebody is like, I just got to, let me just pick, let me just make a decision and go with it. Let me just put my big girl pants on, pick my, put my big boy pants on and, and, and just go for it. It's like, I got to make a decision at this point. So what I feel like if the child is not here, Somebody is like, we need to hurry up and nip, nip this in the bud because they don't want the child. Somebody don't want the child. And that sucks. Shouldn't be out here trying to make them. See, 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 and deep introspection about this. Somebody is really thinking about this. Like, damn, like I knew it wasn't that. Somebody just knew it wasn't the right. I knew I shouldn't have fucked them on that couch. I knew I shouldn't have fucked them on the floor in that living room. Yeah, you you know you knew fucking better and you didn't do better. The least you motherfuckers could have did, see? With the emperor. You were sleeping around with the emperor. Why? Because they look good, they have money, they seem like a boss. And you're trying to move forward. You were trying to move forward. This person, and this person, this person is trying to move the fuck on. <laughs> this person trying to move the fuck on. 
This person is tr is trying for real, for real to move the fuck on. I'm not taking those. This emperor is trying to move on from this situation. After doing some deep intersect deep introspection, I feel like this person may run. I kind of feel like this person might end up running. And you see how they in a boat? See how they in a boat? See how shit work out? Out of all of these cars, I don't see a boat of uh, no means of transportation. But with I'm sick of y'all. I'm for real sick of a lot of y'all. Look at that. Bad news. Bad news. Bad news. No communication. Unfulfilled. You unfulfilled. Bad news. Terrified to death because you didn't want to create this child. Look at that. Page of swords in reverse. Ten of cups. Nine of cups in reverse. Nine of swords in reverse. The magician in reverse. The child. Somebody did not want to create this child. They did not want to create this child. They paranoid as fuck, scared to death. Either they got too many kids already or they are single, don't have no kids, not in a position of taking kids. But you unfulfilled and you don't, and it's not good news for you. It's not good news for you. It's not good news for you. See, you abused your power in this situation. Somebody wasn't using their head. Somebody wasn't thinking straight. Somebody wasn't enlightened about the situation. And now you freaking out, you scared. The fuck you scared for? I'd be more scared for the fucking child. I'm sick of some of y'all, bro. Like, I'm for real sick of some of y'all. I'm sick of some of y'all. Be out here doing everything it takes to have a child, and as soon as the child get here, you got the motherfucking nerve. Fuck them kids. No, bitch, fuck you. How about that? Fuck you, stupid bitch. Shouldn't have been doing what the fuck you was doing. Simple ass. People always talk about some fuck them kids. No, bitch, fuck you. See that? See that? You wasn't even really giving a whole a whole lot to the situation. You thought you was you thought you was cute and shit, trying to give a little bit, and didn't even really want to give a lot to the situation. You only gave a little motherfucking bit. You only get, and now you all over the fucking place, cause you was only trying to give a little bit, but you gave a lot of bit. The fuck. If you don't, you better. Fucking irritating.